Bob is interested in brain development. And if you think about brain development, you can imagine there are two different steps. The first one is early development. And these events are controlled by like a molecular mechanism or the genetic background. But on the other hand, the later developmental stage, you can imagine that babies are born, they come outside, and they are influenced by a lot of environmental cues. And at that time, the brain is still developing, so the brain development is really controlled by the experience. To understand experience-dependent circuit development, we decided to look at the thalamocortical connection. So the thalamus is part of the brain which is sitting underneath the neocortex. And most of the sensory information coming from outside of the world go through the thalamus and then reach to the cortex. Therefore, thalamus is called relay center. So in the mouse somatosensory system, which receive input from the nasal whisker, develop in the early postnatal stage. And when the thalamus receive input from the whisker, they send axons to the cortex. And in the cortex, they form this unique structure called barrel cortex. In the barrel cortex, those cortical neurons send dendrites toward the higher neuronal input side, which is receiving input from the thalamocortical axons. Therefore, they have this unidirectional dendritic formation. So we decided to use this system to reveal what is the molecular mechanism controlling this unidirectional dendritic field in the mouse somatosensory barrel cortex. To understand how the orientation of dendrite was controlled, we searched for the molecules that were selectively found in the mouse somatosensory cortex. We found that the gene encoding the protein BTBD3 was expressed in the neurons of the barrel cortex soon after birth. We hypothesized that this protein is involved in orienting the dendrite towards the inside of the barrel structure. In the barrel cortex, we used the Lasso function approach to knock down BTBD3 function using in vitro electroporation of shRNA. This method involves introducing DNA into cells of embryonic brain while it is still in the uterus. As a result, Neurons at the edge of barrels now spread their dendrite in all directions, demonstrating that BTBD3 plays a role in dendrite orientation. We then used the genome function approach to investigate whether BTBD3 can remodel dendrite orientation toward active axons by ectopic expression of BTBD3 in mouse primary visual cortex which does not mediate higher QT vision and does not express BTBD3. In this area, the dendrite field of neurons is symmetrical because they are receiving input from both eyes. We deprived one eye of vision and looked at neurons expressing BTBD3. They had oriented their dendritic field towards the area of activity from the open eye. We then wanted to see if BTBD3 had a similar role in other animal species. BTBD3 is expressed strongly in the primary visual cortex of neonatal common marmoset, a brain region that mediate high acuity vision. Because we are still developing the technique to genetically manipulate marmoset embryos, we use the ferret, which also has BTBD3 expression in the visual cortex. It turned out to be surprisingly easy to electroporate ferret embryos in utero. Neurons with reduced BTBD3 failed to reorient their dendrite towards the area receiving input from the open eye. In our study, we found that BTBD3 mediates neuronal activity and then control dendritic formation. So the BTBD3 make these dendrite looking toward the higher neuronal activity. And we believe that doing so, it makes the neural circuit functioning in more efficient way. So in the mouse system, BTBD3 is expressed in the somatosensory cortex, where they receive a lot of input from their whiskers. In the early postnatal stage, their eyes are not open, so they have to rely on those information coming from their whiskers. On the other hand, in the common marmoset, BTBD3 is expressed in primary visual cortex and also in the primary auditory cortex. So these animals are highly socialized animals and they use vocalization and their visual input plays an important role for them to survive. 
So getting BTBD3 expression in these cortical areas make these area functioning better and they also give them for a higher chance for it to survive. So the next interesting step for us is to reveal how BTBD3 expression start in different cortical area, which may help us to understand brain evolution.